going to do the social media success formula, and then we're going to go drinking. So. Three, we have one right here. Please, I just had a question about, so I'm a freelancer, and I cover, I do a lot of health things, but I cover a lot of things, but with the health news stories, I work for a company that um, puts these out on like the CDC, SMBC, Fox stations across the country in a couple months. When I do a story, it doesn't air for two or three months. But if I want to promote what I'm doing and brand myself and talk about that, am I in fact scooping my client if I do that? Or do I always need, ethically, do I need to wait until it airs? Great, great question. So let me give you, let me answer that and add a couple of other things on it. First, let me show you the site called Muckrack. Anybody using this? It's really good directory of journalists on Twitter by beat, by topic area, by news organization. If you're not listed on there, you should be. It's a free service, and you can go and add yourself here. So please do join Muckrack. It's very useful. Now, uh, her question about about this is. Uh, a, a good one. Um, what I tell people is own the way you're, and I'm sure you're a great reporter, you own your beat, the healthcare beat, your own stories on that. Own some of that online as well. And so what you can do is, you don't want to be scooping yourself, but you want to make sure you're a hub of really good information about, so, uh, about healthcare by tweeting and pointing to other people's work. You don't have to only be about you. So you can see I'm working on this story. Uh, you, can, you want to create some buzz around it, but you shouldn't be scooping yourself. But you can also point to other people. The other thing I'd say is everyone should really work on optimizing their Twitter bio. Really explain who you are, what you do, and give people a reason to follow you. On Twitter, I'm struck on how few people list what they cover, for example. So you can see I'm covering healthcare, politics, and sports. I don't know. Pick two or three things and optimize your Twitter bio. It will make a difference when you do that. So uh, please, please make sure uh, you do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give you the social media success formula. Are you all ready for this? Yes.